Jay-Z is one of the most successful hip-hop artists of our time. Michael Jordan is considered basketball's respected star. And Oprah's record as a talk show host hasn't been broken yet. These people are all successful in business, with interest in film, cosmetic, publication, and real estate. But they started with one thing and then decided to diversify. So you suppose they care for? We know so you want open TV shop, where we say one go to sell baby things, the other a generator, the other a good meat pepper soup. But before you begin to chew can for different, different markets, you go start with one, start and small. Put eye where way, then it will grow. Welcome to this episode of SME Chronicles, where we track the progress of small and medium scale enterprises and then help you grow yours. Our classes will start after the break. My name is Fumi. The most successful business people usually enjoy multiple streams of income. But it wasn't like that when they started off. They started with one thing and then branched out into others. Our guest on the show today, Kaya Deido, has a two-edged sword. He runs Keskeser Limited and Unmissable Incentives. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. Should I say you're a journalist or a media expert? What can I call you? Uh, I'm not a journalist and I'm not a media expert. What I basically do, I do what we call experiential marketing. Uh, I'm into the business of creating experiences, memorable and wide experiences you know, for people, consumers. That's what I do on a day to day basis. So let's take one company at a time Kesksell Limited. Yeah. What's that about? Uh, Kesksell Limited is the parent company. That's the company that does experiential marketing. So we are into experiential marketing. And uh, based on that, what we do on a day-to-day -day basis is we have clients that we work for, uh, that we service. But above all, you know, like we say, experiences uh, rule the world. Yeah. So uh, we create experiences. We, we look at the need you know, in the market. And based on that, we create experiences. We create concepts. Uh, we create ideas. And, and because we do that, we felt that we need to put all of those ideas that we create into another uh, smaller house. And that gave birth to Amazable Incentives Limited. So what we do at Amazable Incentives Limited is to basically uh, manage those, those properties, so to speak, marketing properties that we create, you know, at Kesker Limited. And a, an example of that is the Nigerian Sports Award. Uh, what we basically did was to look at, uh, because first of all, you need to look at, is there a need for this? Mm. If not, then it may not work and it may not fly. Is there a need for this? And we looked at it and we said, everywhere in the world, you know, every country has a sports award. Why can't we have a... As big as we are as Nigeria, and as, 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 as much as we celebrate our athletes, there's nobody that brings them together to actually reward and celebrate at, at the end of the year. And we decided to you know, go for that. Do we celebrate footballers or we celebrate sports people what, what you've had in the past is that we've had people celebrate uh, more football in Nigeria but we've not had time to celebrate all our athletes you know from boxing to athletics to table tennis to tennis to, to basketball and sprint. exactly so and that's what and if you look at every country who does that that's what the, is always like the rallying point at the end of the year where all athletes come together to actually say oh, fine I'm getting something my people recognize what I've done for them in the course of the year and it's time for us to celebrate them and that's what Just Post Award is all about. So that's what we do there. Although we have other smaller, you know, uh, properties also, marketing properties. When you hear me say properties, I mean marketing properties, yeah. for those who understand, yeah. Uh, that we also, that we also uh, uh, run. Two of them, three of them actually is already running because also we have a vision for municipal incentives. We, and, it, and it's born out of the fact of what we have with most of all, all of these other, if you know Endemol very well. Mm -hmm. 
uh, they're like an ideas house. You know, they create most of these, uh, the, the big brothers of these yeah, world. TV you shows. Know, exactly. You know, and, and that's one of the things that we actually want to do as a Nigerian company. To be able to say, why do we spend so much more to pay those guys to buy rights, franchise? Mm. Why we can make it our own? Exactly. Why can't we create our own and become something that we can even export beyond Nigeria to West Africa and Africa? And get people Africa. buy franchise from us. Exactly. And that's how that started. So we have Nigeria Sports Award. Uh, we have what we call the Nigeria Food Fiesta. I don't know if you heard about this. Yes. It's in collaboration with our company uh, that we had this year. But uh, for next year, we want to have a twist to it because this year we had the longest dining table in Nigeria, you know, as one of the ideas for the, uh, for the Nigeria Food Fiesta and it was sponsored by some other companies, you know. Then, uh, but there are too many food fair in Nigeria. So uh, one of the things we always have to do is to do differentiation. You know, so we have planned that next year we want to have a twist to that so that we are not a me too. We are not, you know, what everybody does. Okay. And Before we get to the future, yeah. let's get to the nitty gritty of things. In starting off your business, in starting off of um, Keskase, what were the challenges you faced? Um, maybe I should say this. I, I, I didn't actually start Keskase Limited. Um, just like every, every one of us, we have bosses. Mm -hmm. So I have a boss who uh, owns the company. I'm just a director, you know, I'm a shareholder in the company. And um, I happen to have worked with him in the past. So when he started, he invited me. Uh, would you like to be part of this company? You know, so that we started together. And I said, why not? And we came on board. And like every startup business, you know, in Nigeria, the first thing first is for you to have the courage. Mm. To have the courage to want to do something. So he had the courage. He sold the vision to me. I bought into it. I joined. And we started. And honestly, uh, we started fully because the company was completed in 2008. We started business in 2010. So the company was about four years old. And I joined in 2011, you know. Uh, the first one year or two years was very, very tough. Very. So that's what I said about courage. But because we know what we wanted, uh, we did not quit. There are times where we couldn't pay salaries mm. of the guys that were employed. Yeah. You know, and you know, we kept on, we were there. There are times where we were holding salaries for three months. There are times where people would say, I can't continue with this, and, you know, and they had to leave. Uh, and that's business for you in Nigeria, you know, very, very challenging. But for every business, you always have that face. So if you have the courage that yeah, you are there, you keep doing what you know how to do very well, you're persistent, there, will be, there, there comes a time where you go pass that, that face. And you move on. And I think we've passed that phase and we've moved on. The business is stable now, like, to the glory of God. Uh, it's not that we're that, we're, we're, we're that perfect or we're too good. But like I said, you know, once you have that courage and you believe in that vision, you know, except those who, uh, who have maybe millions of dollars somewhere. I said, even at that, if you start the business, there will be challenges. You yeah. Know? Uh, you start something, because it's like an agency, you start, we started with no clients, so to speak. And we started creating, you know, ideas. And that's why all of these ideas thing came about. We started, you know, unmissable on the other side. You know, started creating all, all of those, We're trying to look for clients. We started writing people until we were given opportunities to go for pitch. And I think uh, we went for the pitch. Our first major client was Cadbury. Okay. We still work for them to today, you know. Well, for the pitch, we did our, put in our best, we won the business. Okay. As the attitude of not waiting for the business to go, in, to go through the motions and grow um, in every aspect, um, and most times, most businesses are born prematurely and tend to die on timely deaths. Um, if you were talking to young people, if you were talking to a, a fresh um, business owner, what are the key points to look out you mentioned, you mentioned courage, you've mentioned passion. What else you did to, you guys look out for? You have to be patient. Patience. Then also, I don't say anything wrong with, in partnership. They always say two ways are better than one. You know, um, one of the things that have made businesses globally succeed beyond over 100 years, you know, look at the apples of this world. The idea is conceived by one man, but you bring other guys in, because even at, at, the, at the point where you tend not to be, to be tired, it's yeah, a, other guy who says, up. don't worry, let's keep going. There's somebody there to always encourage you to keep going and keep striving. 
until you get to where you want to be. Uh, if you have the vision, you know, you have the vision, everything is in your head, the idea is in your head. You go through the gestation period, the day is, is battered. You give back to that idea. You think you have come. You have just started, you know, especially in this country, you have just started the race. Mm. For some, it may be six months. Some businesses, six months, you know, they get over it and they get their first breakthrough and start to do well. For some, it's one year. But you, there's that waiting period that, you, you, that has yeah, to that go board. through every business. All you have to do at that point is to be very patient. You know, you, you pray to God. You keep doing what you know how to do best. Always look for the need. You know, there will be a need in the, in the market. If you have something that is very unique and you keep going at it, there's no how you have breakthrough. Except the vision is not clear in your head. You don't know what you want to do or you just want to copy somebody's business model. You know, and just after a while, you get frustrated and you leave it. You leave it. You understand? So, but if, you're, if, if, if you're, your vision is very, very clear in your head, and you can just be patient and keep going at it, you just need that commitment to keep going at it. Definitely, there will come a day where you have that breakthrough. But I can't tell you whether it's only three months or six months. Or one, like in our case, it was over a year. I've had friends who, in six months, about people who, who in two years, but you know, if that's the only thing you know how to do and you're passionate about, you ask yourself that question if I don't do this, what else can I do? And there's nothing, then stay there. You understand? Stay there before you know it, you will become history. You, you'll be something that's talking about telling other people, Oh, I started this business from nothing, and here I am now. Yeah, here I am now. So there's no shortcut <clears throat> in this thing, especially within the environment that we operate in Nigeria. Basically, you know, for every business, you need finance. And the finance is not anywhere in this country. If you go to the banks, you know, there are all sorts of things that they ask you to bring. You know, even when you try to bring them along the line, you may get frustrated. And not, you know, you know. So, but the first thing first, every business must start small. Mm. Start small. small. You understand? If you are two or three, put us together and start very, very small. Then from there, you start to grow the business. No business starts at once very big. You know, don't buy it more than you can chew. Just start, start slowly. Then from there, when the need starts coming, the demand starts coming, you, then you can start you to, expand. to expand. Then you can start to bring more people on board. <coughs> and, you know, we started with four or five people. Today, we're over 20. You know, as in we're over 20, who is on the payroll? We have more than 20 people work for us across the country. Across country. Yes. So, but if we, if we had wanted to just start with 20 people at once, I'm, I'm sure... In one week or in one month, Probably we have not sure by down. now. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the thing there is, you know, you have to you have to be patient. You know, you start small. It's very important. Start small. Okay. And you take it from there. Start small. So we'll see how they started, where they are now. Let's take a day and see the life of Mr. Kaya Do as he does his thing. We'll be back in a moment. Kayode Idowu is the general manager of Keskese Limited. He is a graduate of Ladoke Akintola University of Technology, where he has a degree in pure and applied chemistry. Keskese is a true independent agency dedicated to experiential marketing and brand activations. It is a young and dynamic, flexible, and also aimed at providing clients with the knowledge and resources necessary to achieve their goals and objectives on time. It is a company with a staff strength of 25. Keskese is a member of ISES, International Special Event Society. Its clients include MTN, OLX, Cadbury Nigeria Limited, Bacardi, Unilever Nigeria Limited, Duska Management Associates, and a few others. Keskese also maintains a relationship with most Nigerian artists. Welcome back. We're talking to Mr. Kyle Now, a little bit told me that back in schools so you, you were into the sciences. What made you switch? I mean, something about passion. I, I think it, it was good that I understood what I wanted right from when I was in the university. And, and that's why I have no regret today. 
Um, I've been doing a lot of that when I was in university. I used to uh, make sure that the school is very lively. I do concerts, I do a lot of events, and I just noticed that that was my passion, you know, and that was what I could do best. And I was doing it. And after school, I kept on doing it. And here I am today. You know, it, it'd be something that I like joke in school, but it's something that is paying my bills today. Yeah. You know, and so for me, it's about passion. Whatever you're passionate about, I ask that question. Ask yourself, if I don't do this, or can I do this for free? Mm. Can I do this for free? If you say yes, then yeah, you're, you you're, 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 yeah, you're in the right line. But if you, if you can't answer that question, if it's all commercial for you, then you go, ah. when the money is not coming, you, you tend to want to back When you out. ask, the first thing you hear is, ah. Once you hear, ah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like you not to do it for free. So some, of, some of the experiences you get is from doing something free that you get even the, the bigger yeah that will, get, that will, will pay you paid. well i tell most of the guys who are, are in the industry today especially the, um, the guys who are in the comedians the mcs even the, some of the artists i would tell you most of them their story they started small there are times they've done a lot of shows free but today when you hear that they have been they are charging two million three million for a 20 minutes performance people say wow these guys but you know they yeah. pay their deals, you, you understand? So you don't just come out with, I start singing today, I want to collect one million tomorrow. From where? where it never start starts from? that way. You know, you you, 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 so you, you must invest. You must pay your price within the industry. There's no how. You have to do that. And that will in turn start turning out good for you. You must have a very good relationship, you know, with everybody who is within that uh, industry. industry. Once you have that, then you enjoy that goodwill for so long a time, you know. So that, that, that's just it. Let's talk about the Nigerian Sports Awards. It's been on for three years. Yeah. Now you told us the initiative behind it. What were the hitches that you experienced? Even till now, um, one of the major things with Nigerian Sports Awards is, uh, is funding. It's funding. The last three editions has been funded by us. Mm. You know, and it's because we are, it's something we believe in. Although when we started, we set uh, a three-year, three, four-year plan that by fourth year, by fourth edition, it should start running on its own. It should start paying for itself. And that's one of the things that I, you know, I salute my boss for. Uh, there's an idea that we have that I believe someone in it. We we'll put all our, our funds behind it. We we'll try to show people to say this is how it should be done. And when people see that, oh, these guys are doing this on their own, and then you, easily you can attract investments. sponsors, investments to come on board. You know, so um, for us, we, first of all, we must build that, build that as a brand that people can associate with. You see how big the Olympics is today? You know how many millions of dollars companies you know, give to the body to be part of it? You see how, the, uh, how FIFA today is as big as FIFA is? You know how much, you know, when there's World Cup, how much companies, you know, you understand? Because they've been able to build uh, the World Cup, the Olympics as a brand. And that's what we want to do with the Nigerian Sports Award. You know, yeah. the first two, three years has not been easy. If I tell you how much we've spent over three years now, if I have that money, I'll be a very rich man, you know. <laughs> but be, because we are committed to doing it, you know, and we have a vision, we know where we are going to. And that's why we are still in it today. Honestly, it's not been easy. Um, I think only this year we had two people come on board to sponsor, and we have a lot of promises, you know, by, by, by next year, you know, people, because people sat back and they've seen what you are doing. This is credible, this is worthy, this is laudable. So why don't we, because Nigerian investors, Nigerian corporate bodies, they fold their hands and they look at what you're doing. But I don't blame them, you know, maybe because of, you know, what has happened in the past where some people come, you try to sponsor, you give them money, the money is diverted, what have you, and all of those things. You know, maybe that's why some of them take the back seats. But when you come out and they see what you are doing on your own, and, and you've been able to carry all the stakeholders along, every, because it's become a rallying point for all the sportsmen and women in, in, in the country, both in, uh, within Nigeria and abroad. All our athletes everywhere you know about it now. So I, begin, I, I believe it's got to that stage now where it needs to start you know, attracting you know, big you sponsors so. who will be part of it, I don't see any reason why we shouldn't give Sportsman of the Year and Sportsman of the Year next year brand new cars. Okay, I'm going into sports. <laughs> Ooh, I have one year to get there. But, but I must say, um, most times, like, like 
I think it's one of the, the laws of business is that when you, you need to invest into your own ideas, which you're, exactly. you're doing, and eventually people tend to see that you're willing to take the risk exactly. in your idea or your passion, and then they follow suit. Yeah. Okay. Now, talking to, to someone who wants to go into your line, your line of, of, of business, um, what are the major things that they should put in place? First and first, identify the passion. That's what we call passion points. I keep going back to that. You must enjoy what you are doing, whether you are being paid for it or not. If you're able to solve that in any field, I'm sure if I'm working in mobile today, I'll have been bored. Or if I was working in, you understand? Because we need to understand that um, job satisfaction is also very important, you understand? Apart from the fact that you will get well paid. I have people who earn so much, but they, complain. they don't even have time to enjoy what they make. You understand? So they are just there and... Oh, you know, and the one they, is piling up. Exactly. And there's no time. They keep whining. And other people just enjoy all the labor. There are people like that. But, you know, if it's something you enjoy doing on your own personally, you know, that's the first thing. Identify your passion points. This is what I love. I love to do this. If you love to paint, if you love to, to uh, do photography, if you love to... Whatever is, you understand, this is your passion. I can do this for people free, even if they don't pay me. I'm happy doing it. That's the number one thing. Once you identify that, sit together and you know, look at the need. You understand? Because you, you won't be the first person to be doing that. Mm. You understand? So look at the need. Look at look analyze the segments where you want to go into and see what people are doing. What can you bring, bring new? new? Which is the innovation, thing. the next thing. What can you bring new? Because that is one of the things that will make you easily be able to break into the markets. Because if you come and I do the same thing, I will tell you, why should I come to you? I have somebody I'm there. using. Why should I leave this person? So you must be innovative. You understand? So in the development of those, your business plan, business idea, make innovation your watchword. And you have identified, you are clear, this is what you want to do. Then start. Start small. Start small. And to start small, you know, it's not going to be easy. You have to be committed to that particular course. Keep going at it. One day, one day, honestly, you come back and share your, your good story. Well, okay. like they say, success is usually dressed up in work clothes. And people tend to just pass them by because, oh, it's work. I'm not interested. But it shows that if you do engage in work and hard, hard and smart work, success is guaranteed. Work can be very, 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 very boring. You know, if it's not something you like doing. If it's something you enjoy doing, yeah, I think it's for, very, the word but, to use is very frustrating. But, but for me, it's so uh, if, if 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 you do enjoy doing it, then you you whine and grind. You can't even you can't even think every time you're busy complaining. You know you can't sit down to strategize and think forward. I don't, you understand. But something you love doing, you're just happy at doing it every time. People look at you and say, "Come on, you're just so good at what you do." You say, "Yeah, because I enjoy doing enjoy it." Doing what I do. you know, that's that's just the secret. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you, Mr. Kayade. Thank you for coming on the show and sharing your vast wealth of experience with us. Nice to be here. Wish you success. Thank you so much. The show continues after the break. Join us then. Know the minimum your business needs to survive and do not go below this. Keep your books up to date weekly don't be tempted to put off doing your paperwork. Otherwise, you not only risk falling behind and ending up in a mess at tax return time, but you could risk failing to invoice a customer and losing out on a lot of money. Our book for the week on SME Chronicles is different from our usual simple read. It's a 200-page book, but its lessons are priceless. It's titled, The World is Flat, by Thomas L. Friedman. Now, for your business to thrive, you must see yourself as a global contender, not just original one. This book encourages you to think global and teaches you the use of the internet and how relationships can get your business to the top. If you're a small, medium, or large business and you'd like to be part of the show, we would love to have you on it. 
reach out to us and we'll do the same back to you. Till we see you again soon, start your business small. Take baby steps, but always think big. When you want to start your business, start and think in it like foul picking. But when you think of the business, look and say, now nah, elephants. Do this and success will be yours.